Hi, everybody. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I'm super excited to talk to Mandy Haberman. She's a photographer out of Madison, Wisconsin, and she's using a really cool new tool that's actually uh, founded here in the Twin Cities where I'm from. So I wanted to talk to a photographer who's actually out there using it and who can tell us about what it is and how it's helping her business. So Mandy, welcome to the program. Thanks. Good to be here. Awesome. So uh, let's start with just tell me a little bit about your business and uh, you focus primarily on weddings and how you got into photography and anything you like talking about there. Absolutely. Um, I started studying photography in high school. So I've been, I grew up kind of on black and white darkroom photography and uh, went, moved to digital after college. So I went all the way through college. And around the time that I started planning my wedding, got engaged and everything, uh, I realized that I enjoyed wedding photography, that that would be interesting to me. So I officially launched my business in April of 2009. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going through a branding change. I've been in business for almost five years here, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm really excited to, to focus only on weddings. So I only shoot weddings. I shoot 30 to 40 a year, mm -hmm. and I really focus on like the high-end experience and really great products. So my clients all have an album or a piece of artwork or something to take home with them. That's awesome. I was, that, I'm glad you brought that up because that's what I want to ask you about next is um, in, or, as you've grown your business, talk about how you realized. Did you, were you just lucky and knew that you had to focus on nice products right away? Or talk about the process where you learned that you, you could separate yourself in the market and, and actually have a healthy business by focusing on products. Absolutely. Well, when I did get into the industry, it was kind of the the average. I focused on digital files and and the hourly coverage and the engagement sessions and things like that. As my business grew and as I was able to raise my prices, I started realizing that my clients, the higher end clients, they they want something more than the Walgreens print, the Costco print. Um, they do really want a beautiful product to remember their wedding by. So a lot of my clients end up with albums um, and large canvases and uh, pieces of artwork like that. And what really helps is that I have moved my business to a downtown gallery location that I share with two other uh, lovely business ladies. And what I do there is I meet with my clients and I show them the products. So my clients see framed prints hanging on the wall. They see uh, canvases, they see the beautiful albums, and they know that, yes, they're glad to have the digital files, but they really do want something that they can look at every day. Right, right. Do you think you would were, would have been able to sell as many or even at all some of these higher-end products without that in-person experience? Um, I think they're, that my clients being able to see the products really, really helps because mm -hmm. I, I think we all know that when a client thinks 11 by 14, they think it's a big product until they see it like mm -hmm. that. <laughs> mm -hmm. When they see a giant canvas uh, on the wall and I say, okay, so that's a 24 by 36, you don't have to go that big. And they're like, no, I think, I think that's the size we need. I mean, it's, it's really about them being able to see the sizes right. and what they realize what it looks like over, you know, the little couch in my studio then they can envision that over the couch in their studio. And it's really, you cannot sell what you don't show. Totally. So being able to put that in front of them and say, you have options, you you need a piece of art. Mm -hmm. That's so true. So well said. And the last thing I want to pull apart is it sounds like you've got a creative studio situation where you're sharing space. How does that work? Yes. Out? So I actually share, It's I call it my gallery space. I have a beautiful storefront corner location about three and a half blocks from our capital here in Madison, Wisconsin. And um, the street exposure is fabulous. And, but the space itself, I'm not a studio shooter. Mm -hmm. So when I first rented it, I, I had an office in the back of the space and I met with my clients there and I thought, oh, well, maybe I'll shoot some studio. But it, it's really not me. Mm -hmm. So what I did was I have a wedding planner and a local fashion stylist, um, Lavender Hill Events and Weddings and Very Chic. Uh, and they're very, very cool ladies. So we 
our businesses complement each other and we're able to work together for our clients, but it's also, it's so much better um, on the rent to be able to split it and on the exposure because their clients walk into the gallery and see my work and my clients walk into the gallery and see their information. Um, so it really is a collaboration and we really enjoyed it. What a sweet idea. Oh, that's awesome. I love it. I, I was just on a call um, with the Get More Brides um, people we were talking. Oh, yeah. We, we, they, River, right? Yeah, they were. They were super awesome information. We were talking about how important it is to partner with other people in your industry, and what an awesome idea to share space. I mean, it brings rent down, and it's just, it's smart in every way. That's so cool. It's really fun, and we're working on a website. We have a blog that's about ready to launch, but um, we call our space the Wilson Street Wedding Group because we're on. Wilson Street and we all service weddings and um, so we have a fun little website where we can kind of have another place on the interwebs for our work and yeah. for our information and kind of show how we collaborate um, we also have found that brides and brides like to rent our space to get ready in because there's a lot of natural light and yeah. so since we're all mostly working on Saturdays we've started to do that too perfect what a smart use of space and and collaborating that's so cool so let's Thanks. let's transition now into uh, Get Mosaic. So, okay, tell me quickly about I've I've tried the product a couple of times. I love it, but I want you to describe it in your own words. What does it do, and what what is a mosaic in the traditional sense, and what does Get Mosaic Studio let you do? Absolutely. Um, so it's not Mosaic Studio is not the only photo mosaic creation software out there, but I was never really interested in it until I saw this one. Um, the ones that I've seen in the past are websites where you pop in a bunch of pictures and it spits out an image and that's and that's what you get. Um, and so what's really great about this iteration is to be able to upload all of your images and control what tr control all the different variables about your image. Mm -hmm. So I have a lot of fun because between um, between Adam the creator and I we've been going back and forth and kind of sharing what we're creating and it's interesting to see the different styles like he likes very large tiles in his mosaics I like very small ones mm -hmm. um, and seeing them printed really big is just amazing I get a lot of amazing feedback at the bridal shows and stuff about the about the mosaic I have this mosaic of two purple shoes on a blue background mm -hmm. and it's in my window and I've actually had someone walk by my studio and call me asking me to purchase it as a piece of art for their home I love it so it's really neat for my industry because the way that I sell it to my clients is I tell them you get a bunch of your wedding images in one piece of artwork yeah. so Clients, especially for weddings, have all of these images, you know, anywhere from 500 to maybe 1,000 images, depending on how long the wedding was and how many shooters. And how do you pick just a few images to hang on a wall? Right. Because as, as in love as you are, you're not going to paper wallpaper your entire house with your wedding pictures. Yep. So for me to be able to take all of my couple's, like, bride and groom portrait images and use those as the, as the tiles and take an artistic detail of, like, their rings or something like that and put their portraits in this artistic detail shot as all of the tiles, as they get closer to the shot, they, you can look through and see all of the different portraits, but it's not like, bam, bride and groom. You know, so it's yeah. much more fun piece of artwork. That's so um, cool. And that's what really draws me to it. That's awesome. So you, I wanna pull apart a couple things there. So first of all, one of the challenges is uh, you've got so, especially in weddings specifically, you've got so many pictures. And there's yeah. this feeling of like, what am I going to do with all of them? They, I can't. Obviously, I can't print them all. Well, then the next step is let's let's make an album. That's an awesome album. Great. And you can even include yeah. some of these mosaics in the albums too. It makes some pretty cool. Oh yeah. Pieces. Um, as covers, they're really awesome as covers. Oh, great idea. Um, and then even even if you had a huge album, you're still not going to use every one. And it just a. Uh, I definitely caught my attention as soon as I saw it. I think I saw he's using Adam's using your the shoe one on um, on the website. I think I, I remember yeah. seeing that image. Um, it's yeah. very, it's it's really it's a piece of art, and that's the other piece I was going to talk about. Is that's again how we start to separate ourselves in the industry is by not just being somebody who takes pictures, but somebody mm -hmm. who helps your works with your clients to create artwork. And yeah. and that's and you can charge a, a really nice fee for when you're cre it's when you're creating art versus just 
selling the digital file. So that's that's awesome. fantastic. Um, tell me what your customers are saying when they get these pieces of work. I've had several customers buy, choose uh, a mosaic as a large print or as a cover of an album, yeah. and uh, they they love them. They just find them to be so unique. I even had I even had one client who commissioned me to do a mosaic of a friend of hers, like and her fiance as a bachelorette party or a bridal shower gift. Yeah. And so they sent me the images with permission to use them. It was all snapshots and stuff that they had of you know all the girls together and yeah. the couple together everything um and i created a 24 by 36 canvas as a gift for that couple and the the bride loved it so it wasn't even i mean i don't necessarily usually use images that aren't mine but even as a creation tool i mean it was fantastic so a lot of my clients are doing um the details with all the portraits inside or i had one client do an engagement picture and she picked her favorite one and then had all the other ones as the tile and they displayed it at their at their wedding. Mm-hmm. And the reaction I, I get is, wow, this is just so cool. I've never seen anything like that. It's so unique. How interesting. And people love kind of getting real up close and examining each of the tiles. Yeah. That's something I, I, that draw me to it all, also is I love there. You see it in passing. You're like, oh, that's awesome. Oh, there's way more to this. And and having people yeah. stop and look real closely, and it becomes like a conversation piece where they're sitting there. It's like an interactive piece of art. There you go. Exactly. Yeah. That's so cool. Um, I have one in my bathroom that I did of um, a an Eiffel Tower, or a, a picture that I took in Paris, and then I had all these other pictures, including a bunch of Eiffel Towers. Yep. And so the photograph itself doesn't have the Eiffel Tower, the Eiffel Tower in it, but when you look at the tiles, I mean, there's, the tiles are, are like this, right? But you can still make out each little tiny Eiffel Tower. I mean, it's just it's really neat. Even when you go really small with the tiles, you can still see the picture. Right. So now you're starting to talk a little bit, hinting at the functionality. I want to talk about that, and we can wrap up. Um, so sure. from the perspective, I'll, I had my perspective as a software company founder. I have mm-hmm. huge respect for how much work Adam and his team have done to release a really oh, amazing, full, feature-rich piece of software. It's it's phenomenal what you can do with it. You put in, a ton of effort into yeah. it. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of people start like I started Sticky Albums with the approach of um, let's. And the other thing I noticed he's doing is building it with input from actual photographers, which is very crucial. Um, where I released it, uh, Sticky Albums in a in a very much of a like a almost like a beta mode and then mm-hmm. improved it along the way uh he's him and his team have spent a lot of time making it really feature rich already so it's it's out of the box it's a pretty awesome piece of software and it how does it work is it you can do it on the web and there's almost all the functionality right on the web and then also right. as a separate download yes so there's a web version and there's a desktop version. Okay. Um, the desktop version is a little more feature rich mm-hmm. and a little more intense, but the web version does is pretty much what you need. Um, so you would have to, I, I don't know if I can list all of the complete differences because I use the desktop app so much more than the, the web version. Yep. Um, but one of the nice things having the desktop app is uh, that is, is a more expensive prescri- or subscription, but you can export each one of your, you can export each one of your mosaics. You can save the projects. You can go back and, and rework on them. Um, you can change things about them. So if I bring one to a client and they say, oh, we'd like the tiles just a little bit bigger, mm-hmm. um, then I can go back to that project because I saved the project and I can change the tile size without having to recreate the entire mosaic. Awesome. Um, awesome. So there are definitely benefits to having the desktop application. That's so cool. And and just in general, I think the the freedom you have where you can really be creative with the size of because the changing the size of the images and the, the density of of the tiles versus the, the main big image. And yeah, um, while it is different, there's an important distinction. There's going to be an artistic like taste that's going to come into play here where other like the, the, the traditional mosaic is something that uses, you need to find like all of the right colors to make up some, like a, a bigger yeah, picture. Yeah, traditional mosaic, yeah. That, 
some that that's not what we're talking about. And I think if you want to do yeah. that, that's go go for it. But that's a ton of work. Whereas this Absolutely. gives gives you the freedom to to make a mosaic with any set of images. Absolutely, and and very quickly. Yeah. And um and so that's when. I mean, my clients will ask me like, oh, well, we're not sure. I just had an album cover uh, client who was like, well, we're not sure which image we want. Um, can we see both of them? Is that too much work? Do you mind doing both of them? And it's like, absolutely, because it takes two minutes to change the main tile or the main image and export. So it's really nice to have that versatility. Yeah. And also, I love the the sliders. They're, they're reminiscent of Photoshop. So you can play with the transparency, the blend mode, the um, the saturation overlay. The, it's it's fantastic. The contrast and it's you can really manipulate your tiles so that you see more of your main image or less of your main image. You can make all of your tiles black and white. You can make your image black and white and let the tile colors do the work. I mean, it's really fascinating. I love so it. to be able to easily make adjustments and give my clients options. They really enjoy that too. <clears throat> That's huge. Well, I think that wraps it up. If you guys haven't already gone to check it out, we're going to include some sample images to sh see a, some high res examples of what you can create and go sign up for the trial uh, and try out the online version as as well as, and, and give it a shot. And I think that the, the, the desktop version is obviously worth it as well. So thank you again, Mandy, for your time today. Uh, Absolutely. Have a wonderful time uh, and good luck the, shooting the rest of the summer. And we'll talk. Oh, yes, busy one. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Awesome. Well, thanks again for squeezing in some time to chat with us. It was a blast. Have a good one. Absolutely. Have a good day. Bye.